the New Orleans Saints could consider former Pro Bowl linebacker, as suggested by Alex Ballantini of Bleacher Report. The best free agent alternative for the Saints is undoubtedly linebacker Deion Jones. Ballantini's argument is based on the injury that sidelined a rookie for the season, which should prompt the Saints to explore the free agent market for a veteran. In this regard, it makes sense to look for the signing of a linebacker in free agency, Ballantini believes. With the rookie on injured reserve due to an anterior cruciate ligament injury, a crucial piece has been missed. Deion Jones seems like the most logical choice, being an available veteran after being released by the Carolina Panthers. The idea of signing Jones isn't surprising, considering his history with the Saints defensive coordinator. Jones began his career with the Atlanta Falcons in 2016, playing under Quinn's guidance, while he was the head coach of the Falcons until his departure in 2020. Under Quinn's tutelage, Jones had four separate seasons with over 100 tackles, including a Pro Bowl selection after reaching a personal record of 138 tackles at the end of the 2017 season. In the 2017 season, Jones ranked fourth in the NFL in tackles. The 28-year-old linebacker is familiar with Quinn and was an asset for the Cleveland Browns last season. However, according to Pro Football Focus, Jones is no longer at the Pro Bowl level in the 2023 season. During the 2017 season, he had a defensive rating of 87.6, a rating of 73.7 in the 2018 season, and a defensive rating of 76.6 in the 2019 season. Jones ranked fourth in the NFL in defensive rating during the 2017 season. However, his recent performance with the Cleveland Browns was far from his peak in Atlanta, with a defensive rating of 48.3, one of the worst among linebackers with at least 100 plays last season. Jones also signed with the Carolina Panthers in the offseason, but was released before the final cuts in August. That said, Jones could regain some of his former form in New Orleans under Quinn's tutelage in a less prominent role. The Saints are not looking for Jones to be the elite linebacker he was at the beginning of his career. In fact, they only seek to provide depth at a position lacking it after the rookie's injury. Currently, the rookie's injury is crucial, as he was not only proving to be the best rookie in this draft class, but also likely to have a significant role in the defensive unit this season. He stood out from the moment we walked into the meeting room. You could see his ability right away. Obviously, I feel really bad for the young man, the coach said in August, according to Nick Harris of the team's website. Signing Jones, who is about to play on a one-year, $1.2 million contract with Carolina before his release, at an affordable price could be beneficial for the Saints.